फ्रेंड्स एम बैक विद इन अदर वीडियो आज की वीडियो में आई बी ऑर्डरिंग सम बुक्स एक्चुअली आई एम रिकॉर्डिंग फॉर माई फोन जिसकी वजह से आई हैव टू राइट इट डाउन एंड वी गो थ्रू ईच बुक वन बाय वन एंड विल डिसाइड विच बुक आई एम गोन ऑर्डर सो द फर्स्ट वन इज रिथ दिस बॉयज ऑफ दजोरिया Okay, I'll be reading the synopsis, and then we'll decide which book we need to order. Ruthless Boys of the Zodiac series by Caroline Beckham. So the first book is Dark Fay, the second is Savage Fay, Vicious Fay, Broken Fay, Warrior Fay. There are a total of five books. But I've heard that you need to read an entire series first, and then there's Ruthless uh, Ruthless Boys Wali series, and then there's another one. Okay. so we'll research on that a bit as well because if i have like five books before this and then there's ruth this uh, series and then there's there are like there's another series i don't really care about the other series after this one but i care about the previous one because i need to get the entire story if i do not understand the story then there's no point in reading that dark fate what do a heartless dragon shifter a cold blooded basilisk an arrogant lion shifter and a brooding tattooed harpy have in common me Vampire, angel of vengeance, and a girl on mission to destroy one of them for murdering my brother. I just don't know which one did it yet. When I kick the ass of a werewolf who was high on a new and dangerous drug called Kill Blaze, his final words painted a dark reality for me. The king of Aurora Academy killed my brother. The trouble is there. There's four kings at that school, and each of them have motive and cutthroat natures. Aurora Academy isn't a place for the faint of heart. To put it tightly, my town. I really like it. I haven't even gone through half of the synopsis, and I really like it. I want to know what comes before Ruthless Boys of the Zodiac series. Um, it is set in the same universe as Zodiac as the Zodiac Academy series, uh, Solaria. If that's how it's pronounced. But the series can be read first. A suggested reading order is in publication order across the three interconnected series: Ruthless Boys of the Zodiac Academy, the Zodiac Academy, and Darkmoor Penitentiary. Should you read Zodiac Academy before Ruthless Boys? I really want to know this. Overall, we like Dark Fay and plan to continue reading the Ruthless Boys of the Zodiac series. However, we recommend reading the Zodiac Academy series first. There is much more world building in that series because you are learning about Solaria with two changing, uh, with two changelings, Tori Vega and Darcy Vega. Okay, so first we have the Zodiac Academy, and then we have the Ruthless Boys of the Zodiac series. So, okay, the first one is the Awakening. The second is Uh, the ruthless fate. The third is the reckoning. Fourth is shadow princess. Fifth, cursed fates. Six, fated thrones. Seven, heartless sky. Eight, sorrow and starlight. We have another book coming. I don't know when. It's Zodiac Academy nine, but I don't know when it'll be out. So technically, it has like nine books, and then we have five books of the ruthless boys of the zodiac series. We have a total of. 14 books which is a lot i don't think i'll be reading uh, the zodiac academy and the rufus boys of the zodiac series this time haunting adeline if it's called adeline or adeline i don't know it's actually called a cat and mouse duet So the first book is called Haunting Adeline and the second is called Hunting Adeline. And then there's another book which comes before Haunting Ad- Adeline. It's called Satan's Affair. I know what this is about. But let's read. I can manipulate the emotions of anyone who lets me. I will make you hurt, make you cry, make you laugh and sigh, but my words don't affect him, especially not when I plead for him to leave. He's always there watching and waiting and I can always look away. Not when I want him to come closer. The shadow That was basically the manipulator, the shadow. I didn't mean to fall in love, but now that I have, I can't stay away. I'm mesmerized by her smile, by her eyes, and the way she moves. I'll keep watching and waiting until I can make her mine. And once she is, I'll never let her go. Not when she begs me to. It is highly suggested to read the novellas. I've already said this in my previous video. I don't really go for novellas except it's shatter me. I think I'll go for <laughs> haunting Adeline. Actually, I was really excited for this uh, series. I know the name of the first book. It's called A Kingdom of Stars and Shadow. Hmm. 
Where does your allegiance lie? I was told my unit to the crown prince will determine the fate of the kingdom, but it isn't my betrothed who haunts my dreams. It is the half-breed prince who stays at his side. Even my dreams make me a traitor to the kingdom I am sworn to protect. But when the kingdom is attacked, I am forced to make choices I am not prepared for. Our lies and deception are tangled in shadows of and stars, and as they unravel, so shall my fate. Betray kingdom or betray my heart. This actually has two books, and I recently saw that uh, the third book is out as well. So the first one is called a kingdom of stars and shadows. Second is called a kingdom of blood and betrayal. The third is called the kingdom of venom and vows. The third recently came out, so I don't think it'll be available. The kingdom of stars and shadows and the kingdom of blood and betrayal. I think I'll be ordering both of these books. Next, a brush with love. Harper is anxiously waiting placement into a top oral surgery residency program when she crashes literally into Dan. Harper would rather endure a Novocaine free root canal than face any distractions, even this one, even one this adorable. A first year dental student with a family legacy to contend with, Dan doesn't have the same passion for pulling teeth that Harper does. Though he finds himself falling for her, he is willing to play by Harper's rules. So with the greatest intention and the poorest of follow-throughs, the two set out to be just friends but as they get to know each other better, Harper feels that trading feelings for feelings may make her lose control and can't risk her carefully ordering life coming undone no matter how drool-worthy Dan is. Blood, gore and extra long roots, no problem, the idea of falling in love, torture. Something that I'm not looking for because recently I'm watching a lot of love story K drama so for and I'm reading it starts with us thesis, so I don't really want to go for a love story. So I don't think a brush with love would be on my list to order this time. Uh, I've heard a lot about the Remnant Chronicles, so let's check that out. First, we have The Kiss of Deception. Second, we have The Heart of Betrayal. Third, we have The Beauty of Darkness. It's a trilogy. The Kiss of Deception. Nominee for the best young adult fantasy and science fiction in 2014. It's a very old book. Their society steeped in tradition, Princess Leah's life follows a preordained course. As first daughter, she's expected to have the revered gift of sight, but she doesn't, and she knows her parents are perpetrating a sham when they arrange her marriage to secure an alliance with a neighboring kingdom to a prince she has never met. On the morning of her wedding, Leah flees to a distant village. She settles into a new life, hope hopeful, when two mysterious and handsome strangers arrive and unaware that one is the jilted prince and the other an assassin sent to kill her. Deception abounds and Leah finds herself on a brick of unlocking perilous secrets even as she finds herself falling in love. The Kiss of Deception is the first book in the Remnant Chronicles. I really like the fact that she ran away. And uh, now when she has two mysterious and handsome strangers in front of her, she does not know who her assassin and who her prince is. She apparently uh, ran away to a distant village. Actually, I I have a lot of books on my bookshelf uh, that I haven't read. And um, I, I've decided that I'm only going to order five books, not more than that. So we have Hunting and Haunting Adeline. We have uh, the first book of the Remnant Chronicles, Case of Deception, and we have two books uh, from the series The Kingdom of Stars and Shadows. So I think we have five books. I want to see what Blood Orange is. An electrifying uh, debut thriller for fans of Scandal, Apple Tree Yard, and Gone Girl. I haven't read Gone Girl, but I saw the movie and I really liked it. Allison has it all. A doting husband, ador adoring daughter, and a career on the rise has just been given her first murder case to defend, but all is never as it seems. Just one more night, then I'll end it. Alison drinks too much. She's neglecting her family, and she's having an affair with a colleague who stays for pushing boundaries, maybe more than she can handle. I did it. I killed him. I should be locked up. Alison's client doesn't deny that she stabbed her husband. She wants to plead guilty, and yet something about her story is deeply amiss. Saving this woman may be the first step to Alison saving herself. I'm watching you. I know what you're doing. But someone knows Alison's secrets. Someone who wants to make her pay for what she's done and who won't stop until she's lost everything. A disturbing, toxic, and compelling novel that explores the power of fear and desire, jealousy, and betrayal, love, and hate. Blood Orange introduces a stunning new voice and psychological suspense. 
I read The Silent Patient and I loved it. I loved the twist. I loved everything that was happening in the end. Actually, I loved the entire book, every single chapter. The chapters were very uh, short, precise, and they were amazing. And um, which is why I think I will be ordering the Blood Orange next time when I order books because I already have my five books that I will be ordering uh, from an online store. But Blood Orange will be next on my list for sure. I really wanted to know the story of how to kill your family because this book was actually on bookstagram these past couple of weeks I would say and uh, people used to hide uh, how to kill your family from their actual family because the name of the book is obviously very weird but I want to know what this is about. I have killed several people, some brutally, others calmly, and yet I currently languish in jail for a murder I did not commit. When I think about what I actually did, I feel somewhat sad that nobody will ever know about the complex operation that I undertook. Getting away with it is highly preferable, of course, but perhaps when I'm, go when I'm long gone, someone will open an old safe and find this confession. The public would reel. After all, almost nobody else in the world can possibly understand how someone by the tender age of 28 can have calmly killed six members of their family and then happily got on with the rest of her life never to regret a thing. When Grace Bernard discovers her absentee millionaire father has rejected her dying mother's plea for help, she vows revenge and sets about to kill every member of his family. Readers have a front row seat as Grace picks up the family one by one and the result is as and gruesome as it is entertaining in its wickedly dark romp about class, family, love and murder. But then Grace is imprisoned for a murder she didn't commit. Outrageously funny, compulsive, sub uh, subversive, perfect for fans of killing Eve and my sister, the serial killer. I have no idea how to feel about this book. Obviously, I read it, but uh, not this time. The book was honestly me when I'm struggling to reach the word count on an essay. I don't have the energy to write out a full rant review, so here's some ranty bullet points. The book had a strong premise and good start, which is what made me purchase the hardback because I read the sample of the because I read the sample of the first chapter and enjoyed it. But unfortunately, from then on, it went completely off track. The entire book was far too long-winded, full of so many unnecessary details, stories of the protagonist rambling on. I wanted to print out the manuscript and cross out paragraphs and pages with a red pen. It was trying too hard to sound funny, witty, mostly with a lot of millennial humor and constant snipes and influencers and internet obsessed young people. Okay, boomers. I thought it was going to follow the protagonist plotting all the different murders, but they was barely focused on at all. I'm not going to read any further because this is, I think this is going to ruin uh, the entire book for me. Bella's novel is a blackly humor, witty and wildly entertaining read that just might have you rooting for a serial killer. An unhappy Grace Bernard is in a Limehouse prison after having been convicted for murder and has every reason to be upset. So we have five books so far and uh, I'm going to order it and then I'll show you guys as soon as I get my books. My books finally arrived. And I was really excited. I was expecting the Kingdom of Stars and Shadows to be not this thin, obviously, but it is. It's very pretty. This is the first book. This is the second book. It's very thin. It's like, I don't know, it's, um, it's like 200 pages long, which is not common for a fantasy book. It doesn't really matter if the book is 700 pages long, if it, the book is amazing. This is the first book in the Remnant Chronicles. It's a huge gonna take me a lot of time to read this so I have my books and I'm gonna put it up on my bookshelf I love doing that so let's go this is where I'm going to keep the books 